Hello and welcome to episode 60 of my Working with Evernote series. Hello and welcome to episode 60 of Working with Evernote and in this week's episode I want to talk to you about If This Then That for Evernote. This week I was having a look through the Evernote uh, page on If This that, Then That to see what snippets or what they used to call recipes If This Then That has for Evernote and I was amazed at the number of snippets that are now available for you to, to link to your Evernote and quite a, I only actually use one of them. I'm really surprised at that uh, because I thought I would be using a lot more and over the next few weeks I will start going a little bit deeper myself into what if this then that offers Evernote because I'm pretty sure there's quite a few of them that would really be useful in my system so that I can actually start automating a little bit more of what I capture on a weekly basis. But I thought today would be a good episode to show you just some of the snippets and the one that I'm actually using and I do actually use it on a regular basis even though I have 3D touch on my iPhone I still find myself using the if this then that um, quick entry note on my phone. I'll explain that when I show you how to use that from the phone. Um, but what I really want to do today is just to show you what you can do, just show you some of the examples. I haven't set these up, I will let you decide whether they're useful for you or not, but there are some amazing snippets on there that you could really take advantage of and I just want to show you some of them today and let you decide if they're useful for you. Okay, let's go into Evernote and also IFTTT, I think it is, and show you what it's all about. Okay, here we are in the IFTTT website and as you can see up here it's if TTT, that's three T's dot com. You need to set up an account. I have my account here and what you need to do then is you can go in here. Now you've got loads, you've got Google Drive, Gmail, Skype, New York Times, Amazon Alexa, Instagram. You've got so many uh, options here that you can use. But obviously in this episode, we're going to be specifically on Evernote. Now, I actually, I noticed I only have one um, applet, as they call it, set up on my Evernote. But as I was looking through this today, I realized there are hundreds of them in here. Uh, keep track of SoundCloud likes in a notebook, so you'd get a link to that one. All these, by the way, have been set up by Evernote themselves, so they are bug-free, I hope. Sync new notes in, in a notebook to, to Google Drive. Uh, keep track of new GitHub uh, issues assigned to you in a notebook. Create a note when an event is added to a specific iOS calendar. I mean, some of these are just fantastic. Um, save MailChimp campaign summaries to Evernote and share them to a Slack channel. There are so many in here. As I say, I'll go down here and you can click on more, brings in more. You can click on more, <laughs> it will bring in more. There are so many here that you can use. And it's really worth going through them to have a look. But what I really want to show you is the way the way I use one, which is my applet, which is this, create a new note from my iPhone. So I'll do that now and I'll just connect you into my iPhone. Okay, so this is the way that I use it on my iPhone. For, forgive the camera wobble. I'm actually using my iPad as a camera and it's very, very heavy. So here you have, I have my IFTT on the um I don't know what to call this, the notifications or the actions uh, window on my iPhone. If I click on this here, it opens up the if this and that, and I can actually just type in anything I want. I'm not even going to waste my time. Once I click on that, bang, it goes. That is how fast this is. I can then now start typing another note, blah, 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 bang, go. It is so, so fast. And actually, I tend to find, even though Evernote now has 3D Touch capability, I'm using this a lot more than I used to do. 
that I use 3D Touch. So I know you can just quickly add a new note like this, bang, and it's up straight away. But I find that this method here is so much faster. I still use it because it is just really, really useful. Again, you just tap it, it opens straight up as long as you have the app open, and bang, you're in. And so I find that this particular snippet is my favorite. So there you go. That's how it all works and it is so useful. I strongly recommend that you take a look at what you can do. As I say, there are hundreds of snippets in here that you can take advantage of. And all you have to do is go to ifthisthenthat.com, I-F-T-T-T.com, <clears throat> and you can have a look and see what you can actually do with Evernote. I am sure you will find so many useful snippets in here that you can set up on your Evernote account and then you can automate a lot of the work that you are actually doing already. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you got some really good ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with all my videos. If you want all my videos in one place every week, then please subscribe to my newsletter. There is a link in the notes below, so you can just get my all my videos in one email every Friday without any problem at all. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a very, very productive week.